What's up guys, Blake here and you're watching Beyond Reviews TV. In this episode, we are going to review the Free Vision Vilta Pro and Vilta SE. If this is the first time you're watching our videos, do hit the subscribe button and like this video already because it's going to be an excellent one. So, what do we have here? The Free Vision Vilta Pro and the Free Vision Vilta SE. We're going to review and unbox and also provide you guys with a how-to. Stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy that. This is going to be a two-part video series. So the first part, we're going to review the Freevision Vilta SE. So the Vilta Pro, we're gonna put you away for now. Uh, you can watch the episode on the Vilta Pro by clicking over here or over here. But right now, let's focus on the Freevision Vilta SE. Well, let's take a look. Notice anything different from the Freevision Vilta M? All the axes are locked, right? Axes or axis, however you want to call it, they've locked it. Look at that. I love this. Um, before, uh, your Free Vision Vilta M would be, you know, kind of moving around. Right now, look at that. Beautifully locked. Um, also, the trigger, there's no longer a trigger. Um, a lot of my friends were making mistakes by you know, moving around and pressing it and it's changing mode. You can change the mode now right over here. It still has the joystick. You've got your settings and your photo and video modes. You can switch through that and you've got this um, volume up and volume down. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, you can control a lot of settings on the app through this and also very nicely done now they have the mini tripod so you can just easily stand it just like that and another thing that we really like about this unlike the free vision built m this now has a horizontal mode so you can easily do this by the way um, we like using the uh, shift cam uh, case on this because it fits um, my other case doesn't quite uh, uh, fit with this. So this is an iPhone 7 Plus and it easily fits here. So I've got an, a wide lens and also a fish eye and a macro all in one just by sliding it. But take a look at this guys. I just slide this over just a tad bit and easily I've got a horizontal shot. And now we're gonna head over to Commune Cafe and Bar. Okay, so we're here now at the Commune Cafe and Bar and I've got MJ, our model over there. Say hi, MJ, to our subscribers. And check out MJ's Instagram and check it out, follow her. Um, great model, she's helping us out here. So now we have the Free Vision Vilta SE and we are gonna show you one of the first things, one of the first modes and one of the first capabilities of this wonderful machine. So I'm gonna show you how easily we can set this up. Take a look at that, it's locked. And I've got my mini tripod over here. I'm gonna set this up on the table, unlock everything, and got my shift cam case on my iPhone 7 Plus. There we go. Okay, so now let's power it on. Long press right over there. Click on the FV share. Connect to your Vilta SE, so it has the Vilta M, it has the Vilta M Pro. We're gonna go to SE right here, connect. It's gonna ask you to pair, make sure you click on pair right there, so you can control your gimbal. Let's take a look at the follow mode, it's semi-follow mode. Let's just click on follow, okay. So on the controller, it just controls the, the roll, right, and the tilt. So roll and tilt. So click three times, it centers it, okay?
Here's one of the tips, guys. One of the first things that you have to do is make sure that the exposure of your model is properly exposed. It's not underexposed because we do have the versatile lights over here. So we've got our lighting here. We got two lights and we have an overexposed background. If you want the exposure to lock on her, um, definitely you have to set it up. How do you lock exposure? You click over here for settings, the settings tool. Let's change everything to, so I'm shooting 60p. Uh, I'm gonna go to 125 frames per second. Click to the next one, ISO is on 40. I'll keep the ISO on. 100, I like the way that looks, okay. Uh, white balance, we can leave it on auto. Okay, I think this looks good. So now, I will do the tracking on MJ. I'll click on record, it's recording MJ action. As you can see, the exposure is staying the same because I did it manually. Now she's going back, exposure is still on the subject and it's nicely exposed. MJ is looking for what she wants to eat and drink here at Commune Cafe and Bar. And then she's gonna go back because she knows what to get. Nice, look at that. It's just moving on its own, the Free Vision Vilta SE. Thank you, MJ. We're going to do a Zolly. So, or Dolly Zoom. Click on the camera, click on Dolly Zoom. So I want this to be my starting position and my end position because the end position, you have to remember your starting position the way it looks in the frame. Click on that, move back and then as easily, so I'm just, you saw I just moved my knees like this and now I'm going to punch in using the camera. So this is my end position, click next and how many seconds? I'm thinking three seconds. It's gonna start. Three, two, one, and action. Here we go one more time. Click over here. Click on Dolly Zoom. This is my starting position. End positions over here. By the way, you can do this in reverse, but I'm just doing it because it's really easy just to pull back this way. Punch in 25. Next, how many seconds? I'm thinking, let me try two seconds this time. Three, two, one, and action, go. Great, and that is your Dolly Zoom. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do Orbit with IntelliTrace. Why with IntelliTrace is because it makes it easier to keep track on your model. And I'm going to click on IntelliTrace trace it around her. Good, it's now tracking her. I'm gonna roll and always make sure when you're dealing with lights and when you're doing, dealing and you're using your mobile phone, um, do lock your shutter speed and your ISO. So we're actually rolling right now and we have MJ smiling and MJ, keep looking this way. And as you can see, it makes it so easy to track her. And I did lose her when I went through this, okay? So make sure when you're doing your IntelliTrace, nothing in front of her, but you saw how smooth it was when I was going uh, around her. So that's like a half orbit. Next. Okay, let me show you boom up and down with the Free Vision Vilta SE. I'm rolling right now. Three, two, one, action. Hey. Okay, one more. Three, two, one, and action. Okay, so you can use actually that technique to reveal the person or the subject or the model or if you really feel like, you know, you want to come from here and then going up. And it's so easy to do it with the Vilta SE. Okay, so now I'm going to do the push in. As you can see, you look at my stance. It's it's like what they call the Tai Chi, um, hugging the tree, hugging the tree. So what makes this very easy to move, instead of taking steps, right, taking steps, I'm just shifting my weight. I'm just shifting my weight, so it's very easy to do. Now, I'm going to show you 
a um, push in, push out, and then a push in, push out combination with the um, kaleidoscope or flashlight mode on, and we can do a kaleidoscope shot. So the first one we're gonna do right here, camera is rolling, MJ. I'm gonna pull back, three, two, one, action. So if you look here, it's on right now, and all I have to do is uh, hold it on flashlight mode, and make sure, take a look at this guys, sometimes if your phone's too big, it might hit the motor here, okay? So right now it's pretty good. It's not hitting anything. It's not hitting anything. Okay? All right, here we go. So this is um, pushing out while doing the kaleidoscope shot. Hold it, please. Camera is rolling. Three, two, one, action. And take a look at this. It's gonna stop, boom. Why did it stop? Here's a tip, guys. Um, unlike the Freevision Vilta M Pro, the SE has a lock on its pan, so it will hit it right there. It's gonna hit it. Three, two, one, action. Mm. And that is push in, push out with the kaleidoscope. So now to show you guys the portrait mode, uh, you have to turn off your prevision and then put it down here. What I like about the SE is you don't have to unscrew it or unlock it. Just move this just a tad bit, then you just twist. And then you put it right in the center. There we go, it seems like it's in the center. And now we're on portrait mode. And I'm gonna power this up right here, even though it's not balanced, it's fine, on horizontal mode. Click on the FV share, and connect to the Vilta SE, pair it. You just have to watch out because you might hit it while you're doing that. Anyway, you're gonna be shooting it like this, okay? And tilting up. If you do need more space so that it doesn't hit here, you can adjust it a little bit higher up so it doesn't hit over here when you are trying to go get that shot like this. But you can hold it this way, okay? So this is your portrait mode. I'm gonna click on video and I'll even use the IntelliTrace while I'm using it on portrait mode. Are you ready? Three, two, one, action. Okay. Okay, it's shaking a little bit um, because I'm using a case and it's not fully snug and fit onto the phone. So that's one of the weaknesses of the Freevision Velta SE is that it can't accommodate a 7 Plus, uh, my iPhone 7 Plus, with a bigger case. So this is the shift cam case and uh, yeah, but it's pretty good. I was able to do the portrait mode. And three, two, one. So this is, uh, I'm just gonna follow her to her table. Three, two, one, and action. Mm -hmm. And there we go. And push in, push back. In conclusion, what do we think about the Free Vision Vilta SE? Well, it is very, very nice. So easy to use. Such ingenuity from Freevision. I just love the mini tripod, the way everything locks. Um, there's no longer a trigger here like the Freevision uh, Vilta M. Everything's controlled here. As you can see, the flashlight mode, the portrait mode, it was all just wonderfully um, easy to use. So uh, 17 hours battery life, same as the other uh, free visions. And well, basically, you know what? We highly recommend this one. So easy to use, so light, so durable. Boom. And a great app as well.
What else can I say about the SE? Very easy to use. SE, reverse it, ES. So add an A and a Y, but easy to use. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, like and share, and leave us a comment if you've been using the Freevision Vilta SE. Very nice uh, mobile gimbal by Freevision. Watch some of these other videos, guys. Hope to chat with you. Leave a comment. Bye.